welcome this is the energy vibration reading for the month of May 2017 and the energy is the energy of the devil it is a month of fire there's a lot of fire energy in this month we have uh, strength but yet still we have the Emperor also so and the sun comes out and um, this is wonderful because these fire energies that are in this month of May is going to be extremely wonderful as we look at the, the month of May it's going to be the energy of the devil the energy of the devil comes up when there are things that we're blocked with and there are things that are so holding us back and there are things that we need to look at and release the energy of the devil can help some people but the um, the majority of the people especially the hurt people and the energy of the hair people it's not going to be so viable because for you hair people there are no absolutely absolutely no support for you guys in this month and it's going to be a time when a certain changes will be coming in your life. The energy of changes is here. Um, there will be a sort of an effect where you have the energy vibration from certain aspect that are, will work with you or will work against you. It depends on how you look at it and how you deal with the energies that is coming in. But be aware of what is happening because you will realize how things can change for the best if you know how to work with it somehow there is um an an, an, an energy of strength coming in an energy of strength coming in and with these energies of strength we can understand our direction and our part in this month as we look at the month, as I've said, for the hair people, there is absolutely no energy vibration. Uh, for the water people, we have um, the moon and judgment. The moon is more of the Scorpio energy, Scorpio Pisces energies. Um, that is the sort of an energy for the moon. Uh, the lovers are here which is brilliant in the first week. So a lot of people will be affect, affected with some um, situation in your love relationship so as we look at the lovers in the first week we have the energy vibration of wonderful new energies coming in but yet still with the energy of the lovers there's a lot of uh, um, things behind the scene which you're not aware of and somehow the energy vibration in the first week is going to bring out all that was hidden so if you are because now we are vibrating with the zodiac energy of um, the hurt element and um, at the end of May we begin with the energy of hair um, we're going to change guards on the 20th when we are going to begin with the energy of uh, the hair energy so um, for most of the hurt sign people it's a wonderful uh, month because um, the Empress is here and the world is here the Empress and the world is here for the earth sign people so it's a wonderful good energy in the second and the last week but as we look at the first week it is more of water and fire water and fire and this is um, this is good this is actually good for um, cleansing water and fire is always the energy of cleansing but when we look further and we're trying to associate ourselves with all the energies and who how it's going to affect us in the long run because we have the energy of the devil being uh, the vo most vocal point of this month uh, that means we need to change and cleanse a lot of things uh, okay we're gonna break the energy down um, uh, the fire people you have the energy of the Emperor and inner strength and the Sun which is extremely good extremely good um, I've gone through the earth people you have uh, the Empress in the second week and uh, um, the uh, world in the third week uh, um, for the fire people you have in the um, second week and the um, the last week uh, the Emperor and this is the second week and the last week will be good for you fire sign people 
as I look at the air people again there is nothing here for the air people it's going to be a month where you need um, to find your energy vibration for the Gemini people um, it's going to um, be in um, the second week when you change the energy vibration of uh, the zodiac vibration of the month and this is going to be um, different for you because um, it is a month where your energy vibration is not going to support you okay so be aware of this you air sign people as I break the week down I'm loving the energy and I um, um, specially vocalize this first general reading without um, um, I'm being in reading because there's something I need to get out to the viewers and in the first week you the first week is governed by the energy of the lovers the energy of the lovers is a wonderful energy I'm loving these cards these cards are um, the cosmic um, um, tarot card deck and this is just wonderful the energies of the lovers is always when we and our surroundings are affect or love and it can be in your personal life but yet still it can be in um, your work life and um, your business life but the energy of the lovers is going to govern the first week for you guys something is going to happen the information is going to come out there are things behind the scene that you're not aware of and your angels and guides are going to let to be aware so this first week is going to be a full week of water week but a water week with intuition it's going to be a week where the um water energy people are out because the fish the pisces the energies of the pisces um it's going to affect the pisces and um whoever is in a relationship with pisces it's going to affect the the um uh, the cancer people whoever is having a relationship with the cancer people and it's also going to affect the scorpion so whoever is having a relationship with the scorpion so the effect of love in the month of May is going to affect uh, all the water signs people and people who are having relationship with them so if you're having water um, a relationship with the water sign people especially in a love sense marriage um, long-term partnership it's going to be an effect there is going you, you're going to be effect um, there is going to be a huge effect in your life uh, in the first week as we move on to the second week which is has the energy vibration of uh, um, the fire energy of strength in a strength and the second week is a week of uh, fire okay and this is good because it's a week of passion it's a week of passion where you you find your inner strength and yet still when you find the inner strength the sun is going to come out and radiate that which is just so wonderful as you look at the sun as we move on and we look at what is going to happen in this week how is this going to affect us in our lives um, especially um, for the people who has no energy no support of energy vibration for most people you are going to be searching for that which is uh, the inner strength the energy of the devil is here so the energy of the devil is going to help the people who are vibrating under the fire energy so it is the Aries uh, the Leos and the Sagittarius it's going to be a good week the second week for you guys okay so for all the fire people the second week is going to be an excellent week a lot of success but yet still inner strength is going to come out changes are going to um, come in Elin is uh, is also going to come in which is just so wonderful as we move on and we look at the energy in the third week because in this month we have only four weeks in the third week we have the energy of the Empress and the Empress is here together and she is here with the energy vibration of judgment and the Empress is an energy vibration and it's an urge energy vibration which is here to bring balance to your financial situation and what you need to survive on this planet and also nurturing but whenever she comes up she's also the service of a motherly she gives um, uh, motherly affection to um, people and awaken their 
true divine potential but yet still she is the mother of Venus the energy of love so whatever has transparent in the week the first week in the second in the third week you're going to see the nurturing energy of the Empress comes up there is going to be a situation where judgment is going to come so there is going to be a situation of an awakening of a loud roaring of judgment coming in because of what is happening to you is the situation that people are going to be standing with you and going to be helping you and it's as if your 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 guides and angels are going to be opening up and letting you be aware and it's as if information is going to come to you so for the heart sign people in the third week for the capricorn uh capricorn and Taurus and the Virgos is going to be a week of judgment for you where information um, is going to come in but yet still it's going to be a, a week of good news for you guys it's a it's good news since and from the third week for you earth sign people it's going to be an excellent week for you guys to work with as we look at the energy with the judgment it is always uh, judgment come with the energy vibration of the scorpions and the scorpions are always bringing forward information if you are having um, the energy vibration if you're a scorpion and you have the, um, a mother um, who is of an earth sign um, you will be um, um, working with her um, to mend certain aspect and certain situation that has occurred in a lifetime. It's as if you guys are going to use this third week to heal certain aspect that is coming in. There's a healing coming in for both you and your parents. So whether a, your mother and father were Capricorns or Taurus or Virgo, there is a cleansing coming in for the Scorpio people with these earth sign people in the third week. And it's wonderful because Scorpions do like the earth sign people because they feel comfortable and in balance with them. As we move on, we move on to the fourth and last week, which is another fire week. This fire week has the energy vibration of an earth energy vibration, the world. And you could not have asked for anything any better um, because the emperor, um, it, brings the energy vibration so when the emperor comes around the emperor is bringing a wonderful good energy vibration but he's bringing success authority and stability and with the her being there this is just and wonderful so for the people who the aries people and the the capricorn people at the end of may you're going to be awaken and you're going to be celebrating something because you are going to be reaching a milestone in your life there is going to be changes coming in for the aries people um because the emperor govern the energy of the aries people and the emperor is the energy vibration for the fourth week and with this energy vibration of the emperor in the fourth week it is going to bring a lot of changes um, for a lot of people and a lot of situations okay the emperor is a um, a powerful emperor which sit on the throne yet still what he's doing this in this week he is bringing in um, the masculine power and awakening the masculine power to um, the Aries people and the the and and, and the, the earth people so the fire people and especially the Aries people is going to have a good support of masculine energy power um, the shifting of uh, um, the material world and yet still um, rulership you're going to have so some people the aspect of the masculinity power is going to be the overall energy for the fourth week it's going to make it's going to end the year on uh, end the month on a good note because um bringing the energy of the masculine power but yet still a shaping of the materialist world and um the rulership um so um, fire people who are rulers and leaders are going to be coming out and letting themselves be aware the willingness of security to it, but yet still stability power 
but yet still danger can be there so be aware of how you are going to spread this energy out okay be aware of how you are going to spread this energy out because it can affect you and if you do not use it in the right way it can affect you in the long run as we look at the energy the energy of the hurt being here as support it is the um, the siphonness of the the elements uh, of the shifting because their earth energy bring all four elements so whenever she's working she works with e everyone with the four elements so you know it's going to be um, a wonderful time in the sense of uh, the movements the cosmic dance um, whenever this earth energy comes up it's the cosmic dance it's the unity success uh, outstanding um, perfection of uh, um, the, the, the sense that you have placed something and um, you know learning previously learned information that you have learned will be coming out and the center of fear will be just um, you know removed from your memory or your membrane you know the restrictions of views that sort of a thing will be there will be no more selfishness and no more lack of, of, of stuff coming up into your life so this is extremely 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 wonderful what I want to say um, to the fire people and um, the, 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 there's this message for the fire people if you are Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius, be aware of the situation between your parents because whenever the energy vibration of the Emperor and the Empress comes beside each other up in a reading, there is information that the universe is sending you about the parental side of who you are. Because remember that the Empress is a uh, um, the, the fertility um, she she brings fertility but yet still fertility what she brings she brings wisdom and the feminine power of you know the masculine side and the sexual she brings and cultivate abundance in your life but yet still she haven of temptation from and help you to manage the things the earth and the things that you need so as we look at the two last week in this month of May, we are going to realize how significant it's going to have an, an, a significant um, uh, structure in your life because it's going to bring in certain things which are going to oppose us and, and it can either oppose us or it can either work with us so we need to find out where we are on our journeys okay as i look at the first week it's going to be a water week it's going to be an emotional week and it's all about the love it's all about love and in the second week it's going to be a sun a passionate week a passionate week a lot of people are going to find the inner power the inner strength they're going to bring out passion in their lives the third week is the week of an earth energy with a water energy which is extremely good there are certain aspects that needs to be worked on and that is going to be brought out in the third week in the fourth week it's going to be a week of achievement especially for the fire and the hurt people so a lot of achievement for the fire and the earth people are coming up in the fourth week as as usual i'm looking at what your um the essence of what is going to happen and i've changed up the reading and we have in the first week we have a trickery which is the green man which is the jealous the um, lie um, the jealousy but yet still um, the shady relationships the people who are infidelity the people who are having extra relationship the people who are lying the trickery is here the moon is bringing out all the lies and things that were hidden so we have the little green man the trickery which is always jealousy and the ego and secrets being revealed okay as we look at the second week we have quests 
we have quests and in the second week we have quests the second week is in a strength so I can imagine that the energy of quests come and the energy of quests it's the blue so it's going to be um, the throat chakra so we are going to use the throat chakra um, it's green and you are going on an inner quest because you're looking for inner strength and whenever you feel that you have contacted and connected with your higher self you are going to see that the connection is going to be pouring out and it's going to be extremely extremely powerful so be aware of the second week that inner strength go within go on a quest within yourself and at the end of the day you are going to see wisdom and understanding coming out which you never knew you had in the third week of the Empress we have the energy of judgment and we have uh, the perception which is another green so there's a lot of healing coming in and uh, um, the green energy is the art chakra so there is a lot of healing with the art chakra because in the first week the lovers the energy of the lovers with the energy of the moon which lies were coming out so there was healing taking place because people were knowing um the situations and here we have again in the third week we have perception so there is the third week with the em the empress the empress is, is fertility yet still abundance and nurturing but wisdom also but you are going to um find you uh, see the perception is in um, the judgment the information that will be coming to you so this is going to be extremely good whether or not you see it in that light or not but it's going to be extremely good because uh, there is a lot of cleansing and healing of the art chakra okay as we look at the fourth week we have fate oh my gosh I need to tell you guys something we have fate fate is the spirituality as I was um, doing the readings and I took these cards out the fate was here was the main focus was the main focus and I was I was like okay I guess the angels are saying something or my guides are saying something and here for the last week there is fate so again for the fire people for the cat the hurt people it's going to be a wonderful week the third week because by having faith and I've always tell people you need to have faith you need to find within you the faith and have the faith and understanding of what is going to happen and by having faith and understanding you balance certain situation and certain aspect in your life and by doing that you will be aware of certain situation coming up and you will be so much understanding towards yourself and other people okay so there is um there is a lot of healing coming up in um the first uh, uh week on the third week there's a lot of healing and these healing needed to happen and with these healing what you're going to see is that you are going to see a lot of love and um, and a lot of love and it is coming up I want to ask the universal angels to show us what do you have for love in this month what is the focus for love in this month do you have for love in this month okay do you have for love in this month There is a situation that is happening with people who are having relationship for long distance relationship. Um, there is going to be connection. There is going to be healing. Um, whatever the situation was, this connection, this healing is going to come in in the first week. Okay, so for all the water sign people who were going through this uh, situation with love. Um, not knowing what was happening, not knowing how certain aspect and certain situation was going to be, the healing is coming in 
um, for you guys in the first week as we move on to the third week we have a strong foundation so um, there is going to be a strong foundation uh, because you found inner strength and with that inner strength and the energy of the Sun coming out a strong foundation is going to be built um, within you and within the, the, the shelters of all your um, faculty and this is going to bring you because whatever situation um, that is happening a strong foundation is going to bring you to a place where you need it to be in your life in the third week this is wonderful because the energy of the star comes out the energy of the star is showing you how um, life is going to bring you because the Empress is here whenever the Empress is here she's bringing love healing and abundancy whenever the Empress govern a week you can understand and know that whatever that is needed it's going to be well a well deserved time to experience these new things that are coming in your life so and the last one we have is the energy of the moon so in the last week we have the energy of the moon so what is happening here is that this month is going to be an extremely spiritual month whenever the star and the moon comes out together it's it's bringing uh, the the whole sense of uh, an, a spirituality in and um the moon and the star energy is always 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 a good um a, a sense of um the spirit guides are watching over you but yet still it is bringing in wonderful new energies and support in your life which is extremely good because as we choose um to vibrate with this sort of an energy vibration you will understand that the universe is going to bring you um wonderful um situations and with this month of may seeing that it is such a month which um there's a lot of changes of the guards and 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 information and situation that will be coming which uh, is, is is understandable that we all look at where we're going the energy of the the number three is always connected with the energy of um the infinity abundance in everything but yet still it's uh, um with the uh, it is it is the traveling so some people will be let will be traveling some people who are having long distance relationship there will be a healing the truth is going to come out there will be a healing um in the first week some people will have uh, because the energy of uh, the ship is always the distance over the miles uh, over everything that is going on so um understand that uh, um by realizing the ship is always news from overseas message from abroad um coming towards you and traveling uh, the message from far away when the ship is here and obviously this message that is coming is going to be one of a, a long distance travel for some people and reaching your destination is going to be okay you know if you're planning to travel if you're planning to go um, away long distance this sort of a thing um, work that involve also um, traveling long distance so um, expect these energies and this sort of a thing to happen because um uh, the energy with the, with the ship and the hunger is always um, news from long distance always moving or going within a certain reach and long distance places okay this is a really a good good month in the sense of the spiritual world is watching over um, this month it, it, they always watch over this month but there there are so many things they're cleansing happening but yet still and the fate with the moon is just one of those brilliant brilliant energies that you can bring in as we look at what is going to take place further um, with the, the energy of the hanker we have the star and the energy of the star is always 
uh, you know, prayer, fate. So you 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 have um, the anchor is always stability. It's always um, the energy of stability coming in, and with the energy of six of the star beside you, with the anchor, it is success. Um, in reaching goals at and, and greater achievement so you're going to have a lot of success in reaching goals and greater achievement it is all about the long term of certain aspects and certain things in your life is all about the long term goals of certain aspects and things in your life okay and the energy is going to be so um, extremely high because you're going to feel yourself vibrating also at a high energy vibration in this month the guards are going to change in the month of may it is more um may is the energy vibration of the hair and um the energy of the devil is here but he's like changing he's like changing the guards okay as we look at the energy moving on with the energy of the star and the moon together which is always a um, wonderful it's going to be um the, the, the honor the success the fame the creative side of people but yet still ideas that is going to help other people so there's a lot of connection there's a lot of success there are a lot a lot of fame balance a lot of people especially in the in the last week um there's going to be a lot of fame for a lot of people in the last week there is going to be a lot of um, um, changes of how the way the world is going to look at things and how they are going to vibrate at high energy vibration. So I'm giving you a full view of what your card life was, and despite the energy, the the world having the energy of the devil, despite that, it still comes out to be a wonderful, extremely wonderful month. And in this month, I am going to say namaste until next month. I'm wishing you the best.